Okay, I actually got it going. Yep. I'm not gonna use that microphone again because <laughs> I thought it would work and it sort of did. You could hear me, but it was like recording all of my every single like little fucking thing I did with my mouth, and it was um, it got so annoying. I'm sorry. Um. So I'm not doing that again. So yeah, here we go. Prequel. I said prequel, not pretty cool, but I'm sorry. This thing is not really well made for my head. So prepare for a lot of me just talking about this and how brilliant it is. Sorry, my voice sounds really weird when I'm wearing the helmet. In my head. Like, because this really is one of the finest ones. Uh, no, this my, Like, this... It's kind of weird, isn't it? How it's all kind of come full circle. Well, not full circle, but you know what I mean. Like, when this show started, it was just kind of... Eh. Well, not eh, but, like, it was good. It was decent enough. Like, let's see, where do we even start? Like, yeah, I mean, Lazy Baby's Day Out was fine, but not really my cup of tea. But this one was pretty funny at times, but it got kind of weird when they got really serious. Not bad, but just oddly off tone. It's just weird tone. This one was a lot of fun. I don't really have any notes. This one I actually really liked because it, it felt a lot like the Marvel one-shots. You know, like um, Item 43 or something. where it's, That was like where a couple people picked up a, a Chitauri weapon and decided to use it to become bank robbers and stuff like that. Like, little stuff like that I think is really cool. And like, you even got a cameo from one of the main characters of the boys. And like, that was cool. This one was fucking weird, but I sort of love it. This one was fantastic. I mean, it, this was truly it. Like... Nubian versus Nubian was just, it was great. It was like right in my wheelhouse with the animation. Had some pretty damn funny jokes. And some great voice actors involved. This one is so fucking sad. And even though it, it, it's beautiful, it's my favorite one, honestly. But considering that it was written by Andy Samberg, it's just mind-blowing. Who knew he could write shit like that? Which leads us to finish this one up. This is a this by the way is a great tie in by prequel to Homelander. Lay your ass down already. I know you're horny. My puppy's in heat, so he's he's been a real dick about it. I know, it's not easy being horny. By the way, I learned that dogs do indeed masturbate. Sort of. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry, but you need to stay here until the authorities arrive. That is so strange seeing Homelander act like that. Like, it's like he was actually doing a Superman like thing. Like, where he was, it's just like he's actually trying to be a hero. Because let's be honest, Homelander at this point in time is truly an impression, is just a slate. A, your black slate. I mean, the child, he still, he probably would have ended up as an asshole anyways, but it shows that how, how much Madeline just truly manipulated him into becoming the magnificent cunt we know and love today. You may continue. Oh, I can't breathe. You'll be fine. Shit. Okay. Here we go. Please. I'll just work. 
Yeah, I don't think you're, you can pull that up. Yeah, Greg Delisle! Sorry. She, she's just so great. She's just so great at what she does. She's done so many roles. Here, we don't make any decisions. And by the way, killing the hostages, killing these workers, it's like that thing from Black Mirror where that guy kidnaps an intern. Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Like, it's an intern. They're not, they don't give a shit. <laughs> and, no, Homelander's not actually trying to... Well, he's not trying to hurt people too much. I had to think that one through. <laughs> My name's the... My name's Homelander, and I'm not here to hurt anyone. Don't come any closer. See, that is amazing. Like, how this... It's, it's truly, like... I don't know what I thought about Homelander, but I kind of assumed he was always kind of like that. But it's weird seeing us... Seeing him given an almost remotely likable backstory. Well, not likable, but humanized backstory. But this is the, our finest villain. This is the greatest villain you'll ever see. Let's be frank. Let's see how that works. Oh, well. Because, I mean, okay, so Homelander, the best thing about Homelander is he's a cunt. You understand... Excuse me. What are I'm you doing? Kind of up for you. Yeah, it, it's pr pretty well. And the jacket looks good. Yeah. Just be very careful. I know. It's hard to replace. Do something about monkeys.